Football is the home of Super Bowl 56. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Cowboys and the Pats, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, New England Patriots, taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis and the Patriots. Charles, what more can you say? Last year, Tom Brady moves on, wins the Super Bowl in Tampa. The Patriots struggle home to a 7-9 finish, and everyone says, ah, this is it, dynasty's finally over. But they turn right around, win the AFC title, and now make their record 12th appearance in a Super Bowl. And I think you have to just applaud what this organization has done, whether you like them or not, because you hit on it in a big way. Most of us assumed that that run was over, but they've retooled, brought in some extra players, changed a few of their philosophies, and here they are again, competing for another Super Bowl crown. Meanwhile, the Cowboys have had some ups and downs since their last Super Bowl appearance, but they're back for the ninth time, trying to win number six and tie the Patriots and Steelers. For the Cowboys, their last Super Bowl title quite a while ago, January of 96. And those were great teams. Jimmy Johnson was their head coach. Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, Michael Irvin, all Hall of Famers. They were known as the triplets. But then you go further back to those great teams in the 70s, led by Hall of Fame coach Tom Landry, Roger Staubach at quarterback, Tony Dorsett at running back. Those were great teams as well. This one, trying to create their own identity. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. To give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. Jones throw there complete to Myers. Room here to run. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it and then run with the football. Yeah, and this is what we mean when we talk about flipping the field, having your offense look at going the long way to a short way after he makes a play. His ability to do that, evident. Able to make the catch there, keep his momentum going, and just continue downfield. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They hand this off to Harris, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks allow other people to make tackles and when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day and he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game but this guy is setting the tone early running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels now a first down carry for Harris. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked off linebacker. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. On the give, this is Harris. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Really in a hole here, 
third and 17 following the two negative plays. Now Jones. Smith catches left side. Touchdown! With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Patriots are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is Tony Pollard. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And Dak Prescott, roughly now 15 months removed from a devastating ankle injury. And think about the rehab he's had to endure along the way. And not only that, how about all the talk about would he be back with the Cowboys? That was settled in March, though. Four years, $160 million contract. He is their quarterback. And the bigger question, would he be his old self? Well, he definitely proved all the doubters wrong. And now here he is playing in his first Super Bowl. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know. But what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose. And that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla. But once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Here's Prescott. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play, one lost the game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? That their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Prescott now escaping the pressure right. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. 
And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Play action now. Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. He's got his receiver, Cooper. Touchdown, Cowboys! Amari Cooper, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this Super Bowl at seven. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Zerline connects on the extra point, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So that drive in total eight plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Pats at the line, ready to go. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the second year, they really look close. And that was amazing, because that drive went and went no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They'll run on first down. Harris. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Open man right side, Myers. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Throwing, Jones. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well in time there. And now fourth down. He did a fine job there not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Rohrwasser's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. 
So a good kick there. They put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball to the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. And he won't he's quite he's make it to the 25. <laughs> Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football, getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. Off the play fake, Prescott. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. We play to win. Let's go. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Forced out to his left. Connects here with a tight end, Blake Jarwin. And they will finally catch him, but not before he gets it to the 11. As a defense, what a nuisance when you look on the other side and they've got a tight end that can run a post route like that. And you felt the ground shake, didn't you? Oh, you've been all the way up here in this booth. How about when he grabbed the football? You could see the terror as everyone was thinking, do I even want to try and tackle that big man? So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds, right around the 7. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Second and six. Now Prescott. Touchdown! It's complete. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helped score us in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. And oh, he missed it. It's no good. And that will keep this a three-point game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. New 
New England's offense set to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. On first down, Jones. And right side, Henry's got it. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six. From the gun, Jones. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this one is incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he finally is out of bounds, but he's down inside the 20-yard line. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, this is a case of improper form from a tackling perspective because when you get ready to go up against a back like this, everyone has to be able to understand you've got to be able to slow him down and let the Cavalry come to the rescue. There were nowhere to be found that time, though, and this winds up being a big play. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man is Myers, and he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up for the first and goal. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Finding Bourne here over the middle. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. They'll try and run with Harris, and he is in! Touchdown, New England! Damian Harris punching it in from the yard away, and the Patriots have retaken the lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Roar Wasser now for the point after. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. And I don't know what more they need to see of him than what we're going to see in this player montage. He's been great. Why aren't they winning this game, I guess, is the question. It is a good question, isn't it? Remember the time we spent with them in practice beforehand and had that little twinkle in his eye where he thought, hey, we can, we can get some bombs in this game. We can get deep, and that's exactly what's going on. But I don't think he thought if they could do that, that they'd be on the losing end. They might need more of this air raid attack. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get... He rifles one that's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. 
What a moment for him. A pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that one pretty much sealed the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison in the skills? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic. Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown, 75 yards. You recall them all. What a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. Uh, it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And the Cowboys going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Well, they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground again here. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it off. Loose football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Now Jones, following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. Open man is born. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. Rohrwasser's kick is good. And that will get the lead up to 14. So they wind up turning the turnover into points as they convert there for three. Yeah, that was a nice job there to force the fumble. They recover, hand things over to their offense, and then the offense went down and got them three. That alone, that's not enough to win a game, but both units able to do their jobs on these last two drives. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Final play of the half, Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So these two teams will head to the locker room as we hit halftime in Super Bowl 56. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half, of this Super Bowl in just a moment. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And they did have some success running the football in those first two quarters. And that might be something they continue to work on as they try to get back in this game. These two teams have had plenty of extra time to make their final adjustments. But time's just about up. The final half of the NFL season is upon us. So let's get it back out to our Super Bowl broadcast team. Here's Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. 
And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But there's ever a chance to regroup. It's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That's the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. 23 yards, the final tally. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run, and I know it's a safety. When I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. He'll buy some time right. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Ah, they're throwing it on first down, but no one was open, so he gets flushed out of the pocket, runs towards the sidelines, gets out of bounds with a good gain and a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Prescott to throw it. Being chased out left. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. On play action, Prescott. Flush to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. But defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force a touchdown, Cowboys! Amari Cooper, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys have cut it to it and a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Now Mike McCarthy saying, let's go for two. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense. Oh, that's true. You've said that before. Now, after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Now a dump off here complete. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 
Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Damian Harris, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Patriots will extend their third quarter lead here in the Super Bowl. The CD, I mean, there are touchdown runs, and then there are touchdown runs. And that one certainly fell into the latter category. And that deserves a couple exclamation points. And the thing that stood out to me was his ability to continue through the initial contact. How many times do we see runners get slowed up and not get what they can on a run because of that first contact? But he kept the compass pointing in the right direction, kept the legs churning, and turned this into a huge play. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 15 now. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He's at the 40. 20. He will take this all the way. It's been a back and forth game. A lot of points on the board. And that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Well, you've seen both teams go at it. And as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming. And that often is the case when it comes in special teams. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. They'll let Elliott try and run it in. And he will not make it to the goal line. He'll come up short. And they'll be unable to get this back within one score as it stays a nine-point game. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Damian Harris to the Patriot offense, ready to take over again. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more I think even more so is offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some massive men. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Off play action, Jones. He's going to look downfield for Henry, and that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Randy Gregory. His second sack of the night. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield, and he got there and put his man on the ground. Got yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Cowboys are about set to take over on offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. 
when you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Meanwhile, Dax throw taken in by Cooper here. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Steps away to his left. The tight end Jarwin with it out on the left side. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A first down there on a pick up the 25. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. Play fake. Here's Prescott sliding out of the pocket. And his throw here is incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Muscle burst right there. Dancing to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Tenth carry now for Elliott. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On third down, it's Prescott. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. On the sneak, it's Prescott, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. The sneak successful for the yard out, and the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And the sneak works on second and goal. They didn't wait until it was fourth down to try and get him across. No, and I think if you're the QB, you like these plays. I mean, you, you want to hand it off sometimes, but also prove that you can get it in there as well. Yeah, it makes you really part of the gang, doesn't it? It makes you part of the crew, and it really bonds you with those big offensive linemen because then you get to celebrate with the big fellas. Zerline good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game. Fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. A 
A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. Pushes past him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 96 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 45 on second down, Jones. It's brought in by Harris. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 44-yard line. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Now Jones. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones. Henry's got it out on the left side. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Rohrwasser's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? But they had scored a touchdown there. Those are big, big half-moon grins right now, because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So Dak Prescott in the offense. Down by five, 213 remaining. A touchdown could win the Super Bowl as they've got a first down. They start on the ground with Elliott. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw taken in by Jarwin. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Not good. They didn't move the football an inch, and precious time ticking off the clock. Now Dak. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to crowd it down near the 11-yard line. 
When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Play the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Patriots are on their way to the franchise's seventh Super Bowl title. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet? They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. But now Dallas gets set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. What a luxury to have a tight end that can run a post route like that. It's a luxury for the offense. It's an extreme luxury for the quarterback. Always has a great outlet and usually able to come up with a nice play down the middle of the field. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Escaping the pressure right. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And incomplete on the deep ball. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Prescott buying time to his left. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Forced out to his left. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Devin McCourty picks it off. And a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. New England trying to get a place on offense. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bow. It's another Super Bowl title for the New England Patriots. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all off 
offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.